cats, and we did not expect Dash. His eyes were still closed, his ears were folded down. He was just teeny. There's my boy. He couldn't weigh more than about three, three and a half pounds. Dash was very vocal. He did have tantrum noises. Oh, so <laughs> that sounded like a pterodactyl screaming. His life would have been confined to a cage in a roadside zoo or a cub petting operation. So we're thrilled here at the sanctuary that Dash gets to make his own choices. Dash's eyes are just starting to open. Pretty soon we're gonna see those baby blues. Week two, he was a really happy tiger cub. Well, you're four pounds, two ounces. He was starting to roll over. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you trying to roll over? I see you. By week three, Dash went from crawling to walking. Look it! You're walking! <laughs> he had almost doubled in size. Over here, Dash. As he grew and the weeks went on, that little apex predator and training surface. His ears were starting to pop up. His eyes were wide open now. Dash had a tiger toy stuffed animal that he was smaller than and cuddled him. And now he towers over the little stuffed toys. When he was hitting the seven week mark, everything was about playing. Dash would start finding paper towel rolls. He would also tip over his water bowl or just step in it. That's when Dash started getting Dash the Destroyer as his nickname. We had to really stay on our toes. Week eight is when he was moving into his big boy room. He was over 20 pounds. Well, every couple days he was adding a pound. The polka dot pig he stole from my dog. He started seeing everything as prey. Everything is prey practice. And how do I tear it apart? Where do I drag it? How do I destroy it? The rest is stock, stealthy tiger, and play mode. Dash is going to get to explore the outside for the first time ever. He came through the chute. He didn't miss a beat. He climbed his perches, he scratched his logs right away. 